hello garden lovers. I'm not in my garden today, I'm in my brother's garden. And this is a true example of too much is not enough. There's so many roses here. Everywhere you look, there's roses. Now he is a David Austin fan with a few other roses here. But my goodness, look at this Bathsheba. It's towering over everything else and it's the centerpiece. Wow. So here we have Gabriel Oak, a little bit over. Some of this roses need deheading, but they are well fed and well looked after. Plenty of TLC, unlike my garden. This is a port of sunlight, which I don't have in my own garden. Uh, Princess Anne. And uh, one of his top favorites is Desdemona. He raves about it so much. Uh, some of them I don't actually know. Oh, this is, this is Royal Jubilee. Royal Jubilee. Yeah, ebb tide. And a little one here is ebb tide. Honestly, there's so many roses here. It's a feast for the eyes. He has almost every variety of David Austin you can think of. Queen of Sweden. Lady of Shalott. James L. Austin. This is Silas Marner, quite a recent introduction, very fragrant. Uh, the climber, Claire Austin. And the beautiful Lady Emma Hamilton. And Darcy Bustle, it's a little bit over, but we've got plenty of fresh growth coming through. That is a centerpiece. What a big specimen it is. Shandos Beauty is looking amazing. Very beautiful. Everywhere you look are roses. Every colour. This is uh, the Lady Gardener. He also recommends it highly. And one of his favourites for scent is Strawberry Hill. Even I agree, it's a beautiful, unique scent. This is Scepter Isle. It's a very good, well-behaved rose, very upright. Uh, very nice. This is a non-David Austin, Leonardo da Vinci. Very long flowering. And the newly introduced Elizabeth. My brother also has a channel on uh, YouTube. If you want to see more of his roses and his uh, reviews, there's a link below. So uh, check it out. See you soon. Thanks for watching.